So I challenge you, if you're watching, from it doesn't even matter if you're not a makeup artist, any kind of makeup you do, or any kind of style you had like before, try to find a photo and try to recreate that, but in your version now. I feel like it'll be so fun to see how you recreate, how you see something then to now. And that's why I think this is fun. So I challenge you to do it. And if you do it, just hashtag challenge with Jess accepted. And then I can see all your posts and I can repost you on my stories and stuff. It'll be so much fun. Ah, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Jess here and Scarlett in the background as usual. <laughs> I thought let's make this video fun. Let's make it a challenge. So um, a video popped up. Oh, she's really making me. I love you, but you decide to stop talking when I stop talking. Anyway, she'll start talking again soon. I, see, I told you. <laughs> so I thought, let's make this video fun. Let's make it a challenge. So um, a photo popped up on my Instagram. I'll pop it up now. And the photo popped up and it was a year ago today and I recreated this look that Mitchell um, inspired me to do, but I did it like a different way. He did it a bit longer and thicker. I kind of did a bit more smoky and I kind of did on, I did it on my cheeks, my lips did it everywhere, whereas he just kind of did it on his eyes. I just went ham with the pink. <laughs> Put it on my Instagram if you guys wanted me to recreate it. And a lot of you said yes, so I thought why not? And I actually wanted to do something similar, but not exactly like that. But I thought it'd be fun to do it differently this time and do it like, I have a few different ways I want to kind of make it pop. So let's see if it works. Let's get to the video. All right, so this is the fun part. I pretty much used the Be Perfect palette, but I used Funky and Wifey. Um, those are the only two colors I basically used from this palette. Now I'll show you my other little trick that we're gonna do. Pretty much starting around here. I kind of wanna make this, I wanna make it look the exact same, but I wanna make it look a bit better. This color here, if any of you guys have this palette, please let me know. Do you have a problem with that color? Like, I put it on my brush and I will, like, go crazy in there and nothing will come out. Literally. I don't know why. I thought, like, is it a cream? I tried applying it with my finger. Nothing. I tried applying it with a more synthetic brush. Nothing. What is it? I don't know. So now I'm gonna apply this on the mobile lid, but I'm only applying funky this time. Okay, so now I'm taking this fluffy brush and I'm going in with wifey, but literally not like not a lot. I always take it on the back of my hand because I like to tap the excess product there. So then when I go in with my brush, it's only like the little leftover residue. So I'm going to start by blending in circular motion. I'm going to be so real with you on how I do it now because I feel like the way I do it now, I just get the best tech, like the best blend ever. So I'm very lightly going back and forth, back and forth. You're going to look crazy now, girl, but I promise you it will come together. Trust me. <laughs> Trust the process, always. <laughs> my ring finger, I always kind of like to just very lightly dab just the edges. Cause I still, I want it round, but I want it like a bit lifted, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna just very lightly like kind of lift it up. Just like that. Okay, I'm going in with the Helen E Cosmetics. I vividly remember using this all the time. I was like obsessed with this. It is such a nice pink. So as you can see, well, I hope you can see. And the thing I love about this is it actually blends. So I'm just pressing the pigment in. It's very neon. <laughs> do you remember when like neon was such a thing? I mean, it still is, but like, do you remember? So I just went in it with a bit of wifey and I'm just going to very lightly start blending. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just literally do the same process again because I want that pigment to be really strong. Even though I know when I blend it, it's gonna fade out. I just want my lid to be really vibrant. So I'm just gonna speed through. Okay, and I remember this part as well. So I don't have a pink lipstick, obviously. So I'm using this Jeffree Star Pink Diva lipstick. And I just applied some on the back of my hand. I'm going to put this in my waterline. Yes, I know, a lipstick in my waterline. But I did it and I've got to do it again. All right, now I'm popping on some lashes. I believe these are Jeweled Beauty, I think. I'll, I'll write it down in the description box. I'm using the MAC Peach Glow. All right, I'm gonna go pop on mascara and then I'm gonna start on my skin. Um, I will, do, actually no, let me do my other eye and then I'll start on the skin because then the pigment's gonna fall. So I'm gonna do my other eye and then I'm gonna just start on skin. I'll show you how I do skin, but it's gonna be really basic. Um, and we're gonna use a lot of pinks. Okay, I'm back. So for skin, I'm going in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is in shade 6. Alright, so now I'm just going to put some concealer on. I'm using Medium Honey in Tarte. So then I'm also putting some of the NARS concealer in the middle. I'm using the ABH um, brush. Does it have a number? EO1. And I love this brush to do my under eyes. I'm just gonna do my brows. So I'm taking my blush brush. I believe this is Morphe M405. And I'm going back in with Wifey. Starting with Wifey first. And I'm just gonna be applying that all over my cheek. Like this. And then, just gonna bring it a bit up to my temple. So I'm applying this everywhere where I would apply my contour or my blush. Don't so worry, you're meant to look crazy. Then I get a brush that has no product on it and I'm just lightly blending that. Now we get in with Funky. Now Funky is brighter. Can you tell? Now don't ever forget to put on your forehead or your chin you can put on either or or you can put on both I like to put on both because I feel like if I have no color on my forehead or my chin it's just like there I feel like I want my face to feel like at least the whole painting you know <laughs> so I'm pressing in and I'm flicking up and out Okay, we're not done the eyes. I'm gonna go back in with Funky and I'm putting that under my lash line. I took that highlight neon shade and I'm just popping that in the center. My bottom lash is a pink, might as well leave it like that, right? Before highlighter, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm also mixing in with the Saint in the palette. And I'm just pressing that in there. Because I want to give it a bit of a pinky glow as well. Alright, so for lips, I'm going in with the Essence Contouring Lip in 08. And this is like similar color to my lips. So I just want to like outline where I want it to be. So then when I place the color on, I won't be like so sloppy. Let's just pretend that this is my lip shape, okay? I'm going in with the lipstick Diva. Just because I want to add a bit more, um, like different color to my lips and make a bit more matte. I'm taking Foxy and Wifey and I'm like placing that there. Do you see the color difference? You know what I'm thinking for the bottom lip? I'm going to make it more neon. <laughs> try it. 
Mm-hmm. Gonna add a little bit to the cheek in my big fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna like lightly blend it out. It does actually blend out quite nicely. This is the final result. I'm gonna put my other photo here. Let me know what you let me know how you think I went. Do you like the version I did now or how I did it last time? I feel like they're pretty similar. It's just I went a bit more crazier with the pink this time. <laughs> Can you blame me? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button somewhere down below and leave me a comment on what you want me to see next. Make sure to tag me when you recreate your videos. I really, I'll post them on Instagram and I want to post them on YouTube. I would love to see your looks. Um, it's going to be a fun trend. So yeah, see you guys. Bye.